Hello, Anime Nyan here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to get Viva Piñata Trouble in Paradise working on PC uh, through the Xbox 360 emulator, Xenia. Okay, so let's, without further ado, let me just show you that it's all working. So this has been a widely requested video uh, ever since um, I made a video on how to get uh, Viva Piñata, the original version, the original game, uh, working. So, yeah. So let me just show you that everything's working. As you can see, everything is working um, and we can save and quit. And yeah, let's get started on how to do it. So it's actually really, really simple. Go down into the video description below. There'll be a download uh, of these three files. So it might be a zip file as well. If it's a zip file, uh, you'll have to download it and you'll right click on the file and you'll go uh, extract here or extract files. Okay. Um, Basically, we need to download these three files here. So this will be in the description below. So the next thing that we need is we need to go to GitHub Xenia. Okay, so just type in GitHub Xenia into Google and you want to click on the first link that appears here. So Xenia project here. And what you want to do here is you want to scroll right down here and you want to go down to here. So uh, status, Windows and latest. Okay, so I don't think the Linux one is working currently. Um, Sorry about that. <laughs> so this is Windows uh, only, but I think they have a Linux version. I don't really know uh, too much about it. Okay, so from here, uh, once you clicked on that latest button, so you clicked on the Windows, Windows and latest. Okay, you wanna click on that. Then you can scroll down here and you can click on this xeniamaster.zip, okay? And we're gonna just start that download, okay? So uh, from here, here I'm just going to uh, move some of these files. So I'm gonna press Control X, so I clicked on the file to press Control X. So yeah, so I've got this whole thing here. So what I'm gonna do, uh, this entire folder here, so I can just um, click on this folder here that I have. Well, in fact, let me uh, select all the files here and press Control X, which means to cut the files. And then I'm gonna go uh, and put them into a folder here. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this uh, Viva Piñata Xenia Tutorial. And I'm just going to press Control V, Control V to paste. So I have all these files here, so we're ready to rock. So this is gonna be really quick. So basically all you need to do is you right click on the xeniamaster.zip file, show more options if you're on Windows 11 and extract here, okay? Or it might be extract files, um, extract here. If you're just using this extract all button here, that would work as well. So we have all these things here now. So we have xenia.exe. So all we need to do right now is we need to double click on Xenia. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go file, open, and I'm gonna open Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Okay, so, so that's all. But now I'm just gonna close it. Okay, so we actually needed to open it once because if we didn't do that, then it wouldn't uh, generate the uh, xenia.config.toml file. Uh, we need, we need that folder there before we can, uh, so this config file, basically. So we're just gonna click on this xenia.config.toml file here, and I'm just gonna press Control C, okay? And we're gonna go to Documents, and we're gonna go, so just this PC, Documents, and go to Xenia, okay? So if you don't see this Xenia folder, this means that earlier uh, you didn't open up uh, Xenia, um, so you need to open up xenia.exe once at least, so then this folder generates, okay? So then. This is the uh, configuration file uh, folder. So now, uh, basically, if we go back to our uh, Viva Pinata Xenia tutorial, we're gonna click on this xenia.config.toml file, press Control X to cut it. And now we're gonna go back to that documents, Xenia, into the Xenia folder. I'm gonna uh, click here and press Control V to paste. And when this message comes up, you wanna go replace the file in the destination. Okay, yeah. That's all fine. So just one thing, if you wanna edit any of this, um, you can just go sh show more options and you can go open with, and you can go to notepad and just go okay. So from here, what you can do is you can actually uh, just look at this page here, which is the Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise uh, compatibility page. And if you just have a look here, uh, what they want, the options that they need here are scribble heap equals true, okay? so. Uh, basically, if I just search for scribble, so scribble underscore heap, okay? So you can see that it's true here, okay? So uh, 
that this option is very important, otherwise your game will appear white uh, when you go into the game, into the garden. Okay, and the next option they say is, so this one, you don't actually need it. So D3D, let's just check it, D3D12, uh, what is it called? Read back resolve, yeah, so this one here, D3D12 uh, read back resolve equals false. So while this can help out with the white, uh, the white textures issue, um, it slows down your performance a lot, so that's why we turn it off, it's false, okay? And the next thing we can have a look at is protect zero, okay? Protect uh, underscore zero, okay? And we can see that it is uh, false, um, since that is often paired with scribble heap. And pretty much that's all you need to do. So, but if there are any options in future, they will be on this uh, GitHub. Uh, so this GitHub is just the um, Xenia project game compatibility for Fever Pinata Trouble in Paradise. So you can just look up uh, Xenia uh, game compatibility Fever Pinata TIP. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you can see this. It's right here. This this issue here. So you can just open it up uh, and then scroll to the bottom to see uh, what the people uh, have been doing. So there's some other options as well. Oh yeah, and also one more thing. Uh, VSync. So VSync. I, oops, I think it's just one word. So just search up VSync. So I have just turned this one onto true. I do know that um, there still is tearing issues, but, um, and supposedly some people said it doesn't really make a difference, but I think it made a slight difference, so I just turned it on. Okay, so let me just close that. So basically, if you just copy and pasted that file, uh, that will have all the changes. Oh yeah, wait, wait, sorry, <laughs> there's one more thing. Uh, if you wanted to change languages as well, so if you wanna open with, and let's open with Notepad again, so there's also a language option here that you'll have to change. So lang, I think it's language. Yeah, user language. So you can just change, if you wanted uh, f uh, Dutch or French or what, any of these languages, Italian, Italian, Korean, whatever, you have to change it right here, okay? So you have to change the number, okay? Um, but since we're, uh, I'm, I want my game in English, I'm just gonna leave the ID on one, okay? Cool, now that's done. All we need to do now is we can just open up Xenia. So I'm gonna open up Xenia again, and I'm gonna go file, open, uh, Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Okay, so, yep. So just a few small things that I have to say. So if you're gonna use Xenia, you have to use an Xbox 360 controller. Okay, so um, you have to. <laughs> like if you don't, um, I will give you an option right now, but if you really don't have one, but I really do suggest that you use an Xbox 360 controller, it makes everything a lot, lot easier. Second thing, you saw that it said hello user, okay? So you cannot change that username to anything else. Um, I think that's just one thing. I just searched it up on the forums and they said uh, that you can't really change the username. Unfortunately, your username is gonna be user. <laughs> so I don't think there's really any way around that. Okay, so, and otherwise, um, but you can also change the name of the garden here. So you can say um, anime Yans garden. Okay, so you can just press okay. And yeah, so those are the two main bugs, but there's one more bug here. So if I just skip this cutscene, you can't rename some of these pinatas. So let me just try rename him. I'll try to rename him, um, but let me just uh, rename this guy. And sometimes if you click on this window here, oh no, it's, it's, not, it's not happening anymore. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, so worm three. And let me try to rename this guy. To, Cause I, I usually when I, it happens when I try to rename another guy. Uh, if I just press information and I just go basic info and I just go rename and I go uh, Yeah, there there's working. It's, it's it's no longer working as you can see when I try to rename him and I try to rename him, I can't So yeah, that's a bug. So you'll have to just uh, feed pinatas to get them to maximum candiosity instead But importantly on post processing settings. So basically uh, if you want to make your game look better, you can just um I have these settings down to 0.04, so you can make this lower to make it look better, okay? So if you put this higher, it'll look worse. Uh, you can see that it noticeably looks a little bit more grainy on my screen, um, but if you bring it up this way, it'll, it'll have more processing, um, but yeah. So lower is sharper for this one, and higher is that one. And I'm just using AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and you could use this uh, other anti-aliasing if you wanted. Um, I don't really notice the difference that, difference that much, but if you put these settings uh, a little bit low, then you can see the game will look more upscaled and it'll look better. And you can just use full screen for display full screen here. From here on out, 
if you already have a Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller that you can plug into your computer, uh, please, don't, you don't need to continue watching. Um, and thank you for being here. So, <laughs> and uh, have a good time with Viva Pinata. If you do not have a, an Xbox 360 controller, uh, continue watching and I'll show you one alternative method you can use because I know some people do not have that. So um, what you want to do is you want to search up virtual controller, okay? But I do say that this is not the preferred uh, method to do it, okay? So anyway, so you will search up virtual controller, you'll go to the SourceForge and you'll download this one right here, okay? And we'll just let it download. If you look here, so this file, I'll have put this file, this Viva Pinata bindings.vcd file inside the uh, video description of this video below, okay? So I'll also put this one down there. So if you go into programs, so I've downloaded this one here. So I tried a bunch, a bunch of different ones, but the best one I found was virtual controller because X360 CE was not really working, but, and it was really annoying to configure, so I didn't use it. So basically, uh, once you download virtual controller, you'll get the setup.exe. So you'll just go, yes, and then you'll just uh, go next, 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 and install. Uh, so just, yeah, so you'll have installed it. Okay, so from there, what you can do is you can just go to the, click on the Windows key here. Okay, so um, you'll open up a virtual controller. Okay, so you should have this virtual controller now installed. So from what you can do, so you can do, so the next thing you need to do is you need to start setting up everything. Okay, so at the start, you'll go to settings, IO devices. Okay, so, um, so what you can do here is you can just go uh, to physical. So let's start off, start off with the virtual controller part again. So we, we're on the screen here. We go settings, IO devices. Next, we make sure we're on the physical tab. Okay, and then we go setup and we go keyboard. Okay, so what we wanna make sure is we wanna make sure enabled is on, lock feature is on and LL hook. Okay, so for the keyboard, again, setup, keyboard, enabled, lock feature, LL hook. So those should be the settings for the keyboard. Okay, settings for mouse. So this is if you wanna configure mouse, I found mouse really annoying, so I made my bindings keyboard only because it just mouse is just really annoying. But I'll show you how to do it anyway if, if you really want it. So enabled, so just make sure it's enabled lock feature and this API is raw input, okay? And update intervals is 40 uh, milliseconds, which is fine. And you can, go, you can go to the access settings and I put my access uh, sensitivity to 1000, but it's really up to you. Um, it depends upon the sensitivity of your mouse, but 1000 was a good setting for me. Okay, so next what you wanna do is you wanna go to the virtual and you wanna go to setup. And this is, uh, so basically the physical is the device we're using um, that we want to simulate uh, something else. So we're trying to simulate an Xbox 360 controller, right? So if we go settings and we go Xbox 360, uh, sorry, we go virtual setup and Xbox 360 gamepad. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna go enabled and virtual bus status. So basically you'll have to do, you'll have to go install, okay? And after you press this install button, the very first time you do it, you'll have to restart your entire computer. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of annoying like that. I know, it's annoying. I don't wanna restart my computer either, but you'll have to install it and restart your computer. Okay, so once you come back to this, so you'll open up your computer again and basically you'll just go uh, Windows key virtual con controller and you'll go settings and you'll go uh, uh, IO devices. You'll go back to the virtual tab and go setup Xbox 360 and basically you go configurate. Okay, so from here, you'll just click on the plugin button and you'll make sure that this is no, uh, LED number one uh, status ready and V Xbox One. So just press on plugin. Okay, so now we've uh, we've configured uh, the devices to be into here, which is good. But we need to actually get the bindings, right? So you can do the bindings yourself. But I've already done a set of bindings, which you can download in the video description down below. Okay, so it's this VCD file here, this Viva Pinata bindings.vcd file. Okay, so I'm just going to go settings. I'm going to go load. Okay, so so that's how do you import it. So you go settings. You go load, and basically what you'd do is you'd find my VCD file. So let me just go, in my case, so it's under downloads. So I put it under the downloads, uh, put it under programs. So this file here. So I'll click on this file and I'll click on open, okay? Uh, but since I've already done that already, I won't do it again. Uh, but yeah, sure. 
So from there, you should see, so you should go to your settings, controls, and you should see all these here, okay? So um, if, you have a, if you have any uh, things which have a uh, question mark behind them, what you need to do is you need to press control A and tools. And let's say that, um, I don't know, the keyboard had a question mark beside it. It's not gonna happen with keyboard, it's gonna happen with mouse. And my one's keyboard only, uh, but anyway, you would just go to tools, device replacement, and you'd replace the device with a question mark to the left of it. So you'd be say, saying something like question mark, uh, uh, virtual device, or no, I, I don't know, a question mark uh, mouse or something. And then you'd replace it with your actual mouse. Okay, so, but in this case, I don't need to do it because there's no question marks and uh, keyboard will not have question marks. Okay, anyway. Let's just go into Viva Pinata and I'll just show you how to do it now. So let's just go to Xenia now. So let me go back to my Xenia and I'll just go Xenia. Okay, and don't worry, you don't need to do this step. If you, if you are just, uh, you've already have an Xbox 360 controller or Xbox One controller that you can plug into your computer, you do not need to do the step. Um, but okay, let's just open it. Okay, cool. And let me unplug my, um, my actual uh, uh, controller here. Okay, and now what we can do here is we can just press on main here and press run. Okay, and now you can actually see the settings. So my settings for A, so like on the controller, are enter. Okay, so I just pressed enter there to press A. Okay, and my start button is uh, spacebar. Okay, so I have configured start to be spacebar. Okay, so how am I gonna press select here? I can just press um, enter, which will be A. Okay, and if I wanna go back, I can just press escape. Okay, so because I've configured, you know, B is back, so yeah, whatever. So enter to go in and I'll enter, and I'll create a new garden, I'll call it user's garden, sure. Okay, and then I'll just uh, skip the cutscene by pressing enter. Yep, I skipped the cutscene. Okay, so I'm using the WASD keys to move, like move like this, right? So W, A, S, D, right? So that's just uh, normal standard keys. Okay, and now how do, we, how, do, how do I configure the look things? I just go I, J, K, okay? So I'm just going I, J, K, okay? So you can see from there, I can actually just configure that. I, I, can, I can just like look over the whole thing. And the final controls that you'll need to know are B is zoom out and N is zoom in. So you can just go B to zoom out and now you can you can use all of them. So I, J, K to look, look around again. So L, so I, J, K, I'm just doing I, I, J, K and B to zoom out and to zoom in. B, zoom out and zoom in. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So B, zoom out and zoom in, W, A, S, D to move, I, J, K to look around, okay? So that's what I've configured mine to do. Okay, so yeah. Um, so, and to use uh, the menu, you just go X, X. So to use the menu, escape to go backwards. Uh, if I want to select a pinata, I'll just go select uh, my raisin. I'll press enter and I'll press enter again. And you can see that I am just doing that, okay? Yeah, so yeah, so you can see I have full control with just my keyboard, which is, um, Pretty cool. Um, so at, at any time, sometimes this randomly closes, so you'll need to open up virtual con virtual controller again, and you'll need to go uh, main, main and start it again. Let me just press escape, uh, skip. I think I accidentally closed it. Yeah, see, it accidentally closed right there. So it, it just randomly closes sometimes, because it thinks that you've closed the game, but you haven't actually closed the game. So yeah, so I have to go main and I have to go run, okay? So let me just, yeah, so now I can use my keyboard again. So if I just press escape to stop stop that, and I can just press, if I wanna press the start key, I press, uh, wait, space. Uh, wait, what? Okay, uh, how do I finish selling? What did I put it as? I might've put it as undo, escape. I can just press escape twice, right? Ah, I'm stuck in the screen. I just press B. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, that kind of got me out. Um, yeah, but start should be the start button. Um, yeah, so that's that's all the keys that you kind of need. Okay, so yep, uh, that's how to do that. Just one more thing, just a final thing to finish. If you wanted to change any of these controls, for example, let's see, um, let's you have to stop it first. You have to go main, stop, and you have to, if you wanted to change all these any of these controls and you thought my controls were stupid, that's a, that's completely okay. <laughs> um, 
or if they weren't intuitive. So what you need to do is you just need to go to settings and controls here in virtual controller. And basically ignore all these. Don't use these, this one to change it. It's really annoying. So basically just use tools, quick binding, okay, here. And from here, what you're gonna do is you can just, uh, for example, if I wanted to assign, let's say I wanted to assign my mouse to, uh, to the, to the um, right stick. Okay, so I want to use my mouse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press um, right stick. I'm gonna press on this right stick here, that you can see here, I'm gonna press on assign. And I'm just gonna say, if I wanna go to the uh, uh, right, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna move my mouse to the right. And you can see that's moving my mouse to the right. Okay, so X, wait, oops, so yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit dodgy. So you have to go left. Okay, so I'm just going left, right? So if I wanted to type in a key, I can type in, um, uh, I don't know, uh, control or something, right? So you have to be careful. Sometimes if you just move your mouse a little bit, it seems it, it thinks that it's a it's a thing. So you have to press assign and right, you have to press assign, don't move your mouse, press control, okay? So you can see I assigned it like that. But I'm just gonna assign it as up, right? So I'm just gonna go assign and I'm gonna do it as a Y, uh, oops, Y up, hello, and Y down, oops. So I'm just gonna go down for this one, right? Okay. What? <laughs> That's a little bit weird, but anyway, so let's try that out. Okay, so I've changed the bindings now and you can see I'm now using my mouse. So now you can see that I'm using my mouse to navigate. I'm using my mouse, um, but I don't really like this. I do like using IJK because sometimes you want to move your mouse without moving this, right? You want it to say go there, like you want to minimize this, then it's really annoying. Okay, so that's how to change the bindings of any of the keys. So just use that, that quick binding menu. So you have to stop it again, you have to stop, you have to go settings, controls, and you go tools, quick binding, and you can change all these, right? So I can change them back, so I'm just gonna change it back. I So this one's the left and right, so I'm just gonna go uh, assign and go J, I'm gonna go assign and click ah, assign and click L, and I'm gonna go assign and click I, and assign and click K. Sign and click K. <laughs> okay, that's better. Okay, now I can just close all this and I can just go main run. And you can see that I can just use my keys again. So yeah, this is a lot more controlled I feel. So yeah. So thank you so much uh, for this, um, for being here. Uh, you are my lifeblood. Anime Nyan, out.